Oh, seem to have started. Ah, tech rabbit here again. So we continue with this um, single arm robot project and um, do some soldering. And I showed the link in the previous video to the official instructions for this kit. And um, I mean, the instructions are actually quite good or quite clear. So uh, I don't know. I was thinking if I should make a video about soldering. But, um, yeah, maybe somebody can pick up something from this anyway. So anyway, the idea is that we should take all this, some uh, of these components and distribute them around the, um, the circuit board. So let's see how we'll do it. Got to get it the right way around. According to how the instructions are. Okay, so it's actually the other way around here. And the text is not on the same side, so we have to be careful. Doesn't start soldering components on the wrong side of the board. It'll be kind of embarrassing. Okay, the tracings don't look exactly the same. No, maybe done some modifications. So anyway, just, it looks like it's a little bit depending on on what um, manufacturers made this kit or ordered the circuit boards. But I mean, the uh, the wiring seems to be identical. I mean, electronically it'll work the same. It's just that. Um, Um, wonder how I could show this then. I just do a quick. So here's that, and then try. Okay. Ah, of course, I was uh, showing to the wrong camera. So if I want to have it that way around, this is tricky. Okay, so if you have a, a careful look at the, um, the three dots, the bigger holes on the, that will be on my left, and you compare it to the actual picture. And then you can see the traces don't go exactly the same. It doesn't really matter because I mean that yeah, electronically it will be the same, but it's still it's not the same board layout. Okay, so we, and then it came with these. Um, oops, got to switch back to the camera view. So it came with these strips. So now we have to start positioning these strips on the board. And use these. It's good to have a pair of side cutters. I have in this light, I have a magnifying glass, I can recommend it. Well, my eyesight is not 100% perfect. And then I like to use one of these kind of holder things. You can get many different types, but I mean just, just enough to hold things in place. So I can, I can actually solder things. Mm. Starting up jitters. That's what it is. Okay. 
it'll get faster when one gets into the routine. It's always when one's, when one's starting up that it's the most difficult. One needs to get these things in the right position. But it actually, it works surprisingly well once you get the hang of it. Because I said it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Tr trying to do things in the evening. Oh, I was almost too tired. Where did it go? There. Black on black, not easy to see. Okay, here we go again. Let's see if I drop it again. Maybe there's some entertainment value in this video after all. a little bit of a problem with these jewels that they're not actually not that good I have to come up with some other solution Closing at all these jobs. No, they just very much open. Oh, it's wrong. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, they all that weak. That one's broke. Oh, oh, they don't look that good, any of these. Not perfect, but at least something. Good enough for amateur soldering. I'm a bit out of practice also. <laughs> I haven't really been doing that much soldering lately. Like, I don't do that very much. Uh, yuck. I wouldn't give any prizes for this. But electrically, it's totally okay. So I suppose one will just have to say. It's good enough. If one wants to get this project. Oh my, my, there's a lot of those connectors. So now I have to make up one, two, three, four, five, six. 
three sections. And as I said, practice makes perfect. When one gets into the flow, then it'll go much better. Is what I'm doing, so I need to cut them into bits of three. Actually, there is a trick one could use. What was that? What was the... I don't have any of that foam. Now, the layout's probably not identical. Just trying to think of a better way to hold this so I can get the contactor straight, the contact to be straight. So I can't really see if it's straight on the other side. Freakiness. Yeah, if we hold it with one hand like that. Then the pins will come through. And then I do the middle pin first. Like that. And I check it so that it's straight somewhat. Oh, it didn't hurt. No, that's pretty good. This is really tricky showing in the camera because I want to turn it so that I can show how oh, I could have better put the soldering iron away or otherwise I'm going to burn myself. Uh, now let's see. Like, no, that's still wrong. I actually don't know what I'm trying to do. Yes, that was the. If I hold it like that. As you see, it's pretty much a 90 degree angle. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't so easy to show. Okay. We continue. Next one. Hey! As I said, if I could get into the routine, then this will be okay. Mm. 
Well, it takes a while to do that. And then we'll just kind of like do a bit of adaptations from time to time. And this holder didn't seem to actually be much use for this specific task. And that's too high. And, oh, oh, maybe that one. If I could just get it balanced. So you need to use your tools in the best way you can. So they're kind of like balancing things. Task, and let's hope that will just stay there long enough that I can actually get that solved. So, and then we check it. Ah! That did not turn up 90%. Be careful one doesn't burn oneself. Okay, that's much better. So we leave it there. So that's why I only soldered one the middle pin. So that we can actually adjust it afterwards. And now I'm going to actually take an assistant circuit board and see what the division of those are. See if this is going to help. Uh, it's a long shot, but we will test. No, doesn't seem that the whole division. Thing, but it wouldn't. It would be kind of unlikely that it would actually. Or is it that the holes aren't big enough? Well, that would be strange, because I have put that kind of a connector. No, the holes are perfect. So it is basic either. Yeah, you can see the distance. Oh, oh that would have been useful if that would have helped. But it will not, so we just have to continue without the assistance of that. Trying to get it initially straight. We'll see if this will work. Yeah, some people use extraction fans when soldering, but I have a—I mean, a very well ventilated area, so this is in a small room. And the thing is that I do very little soldering, so um, I don't think it's really that necessary. If one was doing manufacturing work, then it's a different issue. Like soldering all day long, then I think the one should probably be a bit more concerned. Plus, I don't use solder from China. That's one of the things I don't... Even if I get with a package, I get solder from China, then I don't use it. There's no promise that what they put on the package is what, like if they say it's lead free or something. I don't really believe it. Better to buy that um, locally. Oh, 
And then of course they buy from China. <laughs> well, at least one can hope that they, they check the actual um, content description that it actually is what it's supposed to be. Oh man, I'm not having good luck getting this one to stay in. Mm, I just want to turn the circuit board around. It worked with three, four of them already, so I don't know why, why this one is dropping out. other ones. What? What is going on? Oh, to think. Why is that one dropping out so much easier? So, well, I think I got it. Put my pliers underneath there. Let me do the mid part again. I think you can see quite well in the with the camera set up I have, so that's good. Yeah, I could have used my other camera with a zoom in capability, but I think this I don't have HDMI live feed on my other cameras. So if I want to do this uh, live uh, combined video in picture, then I need to um, use this setup. a hobby set up. It's the great thing doing soldering for oneself that doesn't have to be. It doesn't need to, it's not going to be equipment that's going to go out into the field for 20 years. So then we're going to actually just take it a bit easy. Different with equipment that needs to survive out in the Humidity of the real world. Got it. Nearly jumped out. Ah, jump out now. So. supposed to do soldering is you use the soldering iron to heat the parts that you want to solder together and then you apply the solder. If you you know if you're soldering bigger things and you apply the solder before the actual parts are um, heated up enough then you can do cold soldering which means that the two parts won't connect very well. And then you get connection failures. Next one. And this one will be the last one of, ah, on, on this line of things. And then there's other stuff to solve on. We will take them later. So, turn it around carefully. I think this is working quite well. I thought my holder would have helped more. It didn't seem to work very well for this specific task. If anybody wants to know what soldering iron I'm used, I actually posted a video about it um, in one of my playlists. And you can go 
look it up there. Ah, oh, that's not that bad for like that for a hobbyist soldering. Okay, so now I have to actually, so now I've just soldered the, um, like that, I've soldered the middle pin. So now I need to go and um, go through them and solder the rest of the pins. This is a bit heavy, this base here. So it will slide around so easy. Double check. I have a, uh, a big. Just to show. Uh, see, I have a, a big uh, magnifying glass and then a smaller one. And with the smaller one, I can actually look. Just double check that I've actually soldered all of them. That there isn't any solder bridges. And that the solder is actually looks like it's gone into the. I mean, these are um, through treated BCBs, so through hold. Oh, there's no way to see it in the camera, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, I can see it a little bit. But you can see that the holes are soldered right through. So. That means that if you solder it only on one side by accident, then um, the, the electrical connection will still be valid for the other side. But I mean, this is not a high current application, so it can be pretty crappy soldering for it to totally fail. Okay, then we're going to see now if I switch back to here. So now we've actually. Ah, that's the. <laughs> board I've been working on, this is the components again, and here now I've soldered everything here, and now we move to the next phase, and then it's going to be these, these components will be next. Oops. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my mouse to the right place to change the, change the view again. Oh, come on. 
there. Sorry. Oh. So now I fixed it. Ah, bungling around. Uh, what do we do now? We um. I wouldn't think. I usually don't do that. So stand is supporting me very well this time around. I've used it for quite a lot of things so I can't say that it's completely hopeless but I think for this kind of board that I'm dealing with now it does not seem to be a very good solution. So difficult. Oh, no, I I don't think that stuff really is worth using. Let's see, I have to try something else. I actually do have one trick I can use. And I've used quite successfully before. I'll try it again. first. Some people do an end pin, but I think that doing a middle pin is better. Let's see, depth-wise. 
Oops, okay. So we just can actually stabilize it with that, and then we basically just solder in the rest. Yeah, my um, uh, soldering iron is a variable temperature soldering iron, and I could recommend buying a soldering iron with variable temperature. Um, because then when you go to solder in such thick stuff, then you can actually lift the temperature and you won't run out of power, it won't get cold. connector in the picture doesn't look exactly like this connector that I'm putting on but there is no that's the only power connector I can see that exists anyway it's the actual middle part that's the middle part dimension and that's critical if they advertise a certain power connector Just a second. And then we just need to look at the soldering result. Oh, I came through okay. No evidence of cold soldering that I can see. There was enough heat applied. So, that's good. I think that was that bad. Probably not perfect, but then this is, as I said, for hobby use only. Yeah, that's okay. Is there anything that's come over here too much? No. And connector seems to be on yeah, not 100% straight stop oh, what will it do I think it moved a little bit out of alignment 
could have been a slightly better. I should have double checked that. Because now I missed it. Because now it's not 100% correct. But electronically it will work just fine. Darn, my phone flew up. Just going to put this phone off. Communication. This is too much of it. <clears throat> Needs to learn to turn the devices off and prioritize. and tips in the world of soldering and then let's see if that's coming out on the right side yep that should be okay Let's see what we're supposed to do next, though. Let's see, you know, we're going down the list. Uh -huh. Aha! Okay. So now they want me to take the... the oh, the game with the package. the same thing. Mm -hmm. A bit 
with the connector. I have lots of walnuts. So doesn't really matter. No! Now it flew away. Oh, got more of that stuff. So <laughs> I don't. Ah, the the rest of the strip it 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 flew away. <laughs> so if we need it, then I have to go find it. Uh, okay, and then we we'll see here. Back to here, and then what are we supposed to do now? Then we're supposed to put that board on top, and then solder it in place. Okay. We'll do that then. Just make sure we actually put it the right way around. So that's that one. And that's supposed to go in there. And then there's a little bit of a depth in here. So. Okay, and then. We're supposed to solder the connections together, which kind of makes sense. I'll just stabilize this one with my pliers. Maybe still have that little bit higher heat. It's good to clean the tip from time to time because it does get oxidization. Right? Whoa, that doesn't look. What is that? Ah, one of the pins got pressed up. I don't know if you can see it. Probably won't make any difference. I'm trying to try and just check that there aren't any others. No, there all the other ones didn't move really. It is just that one. I haven't soldered it yet, so let's see if I can convince it to go down. The, um, the pins they can actually slide those that are here so um, ah, sometimes it happens that when you're pressing on these pins then you can move them around so it is kind of good to check
that much. Check through and see that they are actually actually well soldered. Don't see anything. No solder breaches, so that means connecting two connections that are not supposed to be together. No extra crap like solder that has disconnected itself and is just hanging because that's conductive. So if it Oh, look, missed the pin. Always good to double check. So, call the assurances. Always need it. I would say that's good enough for hobby purposes. And it seems to be possible to still move the connectors, so I haven't soldered them on. Okay, so what do we got here? That that was the soldering part. through this so I don't know why this would be necessary okay this is giving a different picture of the board slightly. Hasn't got all well, the connections are not populated. Did we miss something? It should show the soldering of the potential meters. Did I miss something? When are those soldered on? you not solder you see what I'm talking about it's these um wait not wrong cam it's these ones why would you not Or was one supposed to understand from this Chinese text that one should obviously know that they... I mean, it's very obvious that they should be there. It's just that it's sad that they didn't, since they've actually done the step-by-step -step instruction here. And here they don't have them installed. <coughs> This I find a bit strange. Mm, yeah, so no, it's.
That's not obviously not used as central area. And it's always oh, it a mess of different combinations. This is like this is a Chinese website with like Russian instruction <laughs> pictures. Oh, but it's okay. I think I can probably figure it out. They probably have different variants of the robot. But why would no one not, not solder these on? Or is it just like... Very clear that one should just do it. Well, it's for the acrylic stuff, we're not there yet. Oh, wait, no, I'm too far back. No. Just the connections, I get that. Okay, well, we just don't get too picky about it and, and solder the potentiometers on, I think. But why? It would have been, of course, nice if they had a picture about it. But I suppose we can't really wait for everything to be perfect. Quite straight. Let's just see if that fits up the bottom. Wow, that worked out well. And it still moves. So, let me take the next one. too much. So. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm not showing the correct picture here. Boring. Oh. A little bit difficult to control them. Oh, no. Push them. Sir. Realign it again. Oh, there. We're back to the right view. Yeah, sorry you missed that. But I soldered on the first potentiometer. But there's three more to go, so I won't miss much.
There's a few extra connectors left over. But it could be that they have a little bit different robots. Maybe they're not going to be needed because basically there is just the servos connect to those. Well, we'll see. We'll just have to continue building and then. If something turns up, then we deal with it. This is kind of fun, this this little robot, because it's a potentiometer um, controlled initially, and that will make it easy to understand how it works, and then one can actually um, programmatically expand it to do automatic things. They're not super stable, so. But, um. Oh, well. Wait, hang it over like that. Oh, well, I think that's probably good enough. So, I just need to solder in the rest of the connectors. All the rest of the feet for that, and I can't really explain why they didn't have a picture about it, but I. Good thing I'm making this video. So if it's unclear for somebody now, you no, know we have to solder the potentiometers in. Even if it isn't in the instruction. I mean, it's obvious that we need to do this one. Since they did start up with such a good instruction, why would they skip having a step for putting soldering these in? And I doubt that it's in any of the like remaining steps of the instruction because that's all the I took a quick look at it and that's just the mechanic you know, most of it's the mechanics and then the software. Okay, so now I think we have this board, we have the Arduino. And that was supposed to go this way around. And then I think I might have a, f a mechanical interference issue. I think it was that potentiometer's legs are getting in the way, I think, a bit. Yes. So I think I need to trim them off. wonder if that's why they... So here... Those are too long, so they need to go. So that will make it better for it to, because it gets interfered with this 
with the power connector. So, so that's the theoretically the electronics package. I'll have to call it the day. It's going to be getting a bit late here. Uh, but the next step, I think, will be the. Um, well, we were left over with a few things. And then the part of the strip here, one of the strips that flew away. So, so there are some leftover bits, and according to these instructions, there isn't any use for them right now, at least. Ah, but there's a jumper. What's that? Input Uno. So they want a jumper there. Okay, we put it on. It's red in this case and black in the picture. I'm just looking at the. I can actually swap again. Close the mouse down here so I can actually do something with it. So I want to look at this one here and then. I wonder if I can. Then I will have to use the browser zoom. Well, the pictures are quite good. You see, here's the jumper. So, so we're on this camera. So it's that red one. So that came in the box. So we just put it there. Okay, anything else that we... And there is only one of those. There's only, like, one of those connectors included left over. So I don't know why. Maybe they thought if somebody would screw up something and then they could um, have an extra. Okay, but I'm happy. That's the soldering done for that part. And um, Yeah, the knobs were actually separate. So you could actually pull them off and, and oh, right. so so these knobs, they were removable, so when the package came, then these knobs were separate. But you just press them on, and then they're, and then they're installed. Um, anyway, so if you've had an energy to watch it this far, then thank you very much for your attention. And in the next video, we'll start covering the mechanical assembly. And then we will save we will save all the parts that haven't been used until we know that they definitely will not be used but I wouldn't be too surprised if there would be some some parts that are extra okay good night for everybody then.